So we're here at the start of uh, Beast of Burton Winter 100. Uh, we're like 10 minutes away from the start. It's kind of cold. So I mid 20s. Mid 20s. Here's Ryan. He's my crew. Gonna be a good time. Gonna be cold, but I think I'm as prepared as I can be. So I'll try to update you as often as I can to see where my brain goes this time. It'll be fun. See ya. Yo, now seven ish. Just <clears throat> past the first aid station, which is like 6.8 miles from the start, and like 109, which I know is like really freaking slow, but look at this crap. That's, that's horrible. Um, so it's shitty ass footing. Um, guy right up there, this guy won it last year. Uh, he's in second place. The leader is Vladimir, what's his bucket? He's the guy who currently holds the course record for Badwater. So he's like world-class elite. He's never seen snow before, but he's way up there. <clears throat> so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long day. Long day. Uh, feet are okay. I got the wind in my back right now. Um, which is good. But here in six miles or so at the turn, I turn it into 20, 30 mile an hour wind. But hopefully the other track will be nice, nicer, because I've got 50 people behind me running. So I apologize now for any snot you see on my mustache later in the race. I'll try to make myself look presentable. That's all I got for now. Yo. All right, so first turn around, so 12 and a half miles, 205. Oh man, the track is nasty, nasty, nasty. Uh, running through anywhere. Every once in a while I have a flat spot, but for the most part I'm running through anywhere between one and four inches of snow. Luckily it's cold enough that's not slushy. It's one of the things I feared. Uh, I now have a 20, 30 mile an hour wind right in my face. And I will for the next one and a half miles back to the start. So, 205, I split at 12 and a half, which is obviously kind of slow. But like I said, there's no footing here. No footing at all. First place, guys. Wait. Nice job, bro. It's there. Thanks, man. Nice job. So, I feel alright. I'm gonna put my arm down now because I'm tired. See ya. Hi there. Uh, mile. What say? 18, 19. Somewhere in that ballpark. A little over three hours. Uh, now I'm in the really crappiest part of the course. Uh, footing is better than on the way out. There's a bunch of people that have run over it, but still pretty bad. Uh, second place, wind. Oh, boy. You can feel it gusting to 30 miles an hour. It's in my head, in my face. So I guess that's technically like a 35 mile an hour wind, but I'm actually not that cold. I changed shirts at the turn, which helped a lot. So, flying through this crap. Oh man, draining, draining. So, feet are a little wet, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna actually change shoes at mile 25. I'm gonna get back in these later. Ryan's gonna dry them for me. Hopefully. So, okay. So far, so good. See ya. Yo, yo. Mile 32. Something like that. 
just past the midway point on the second, the midway point on the second way, second loop out. That's it. Um, it's my first walk break. I just got a big cup of chicken broth, so if I wanted to drink it and keep moving. I'm just taking a, it's my first walk break, but you know, that's okay. My legs still feel strong, honestly. The crappiest part of this whole race is just this footing. I mean, look. You know, not so bad here. But, and, and you'd like to think that, you know, with 50 some odd people running, you know, they would pack it down, but it, it, this 25, 30 mile an hour wind is just filling in everybody's holes. So, you're just running through drifts. It's totally kicking my butt. So, that world, elite, that literally world elite status ultra runner, um, that's 25 mile mark, the quarter, quarter turn. Uh, I saw him. So a minute and a half in front of me. Uh, this time out, he's pulling away. But seriously, it's like I'm running a marathon, and I'm losing to Ryan Hall. I mean, really, I'm not gonna beat that guy. Uh, but it'll be a freaking miracle. Um, I've already peed once for. You ultra runners, you know that's important. It means I'm staying hydrated enough, so that's good. Uh, that heat energy light drink, oh, got too much sugar. Shouldn't be drinking that. Uh, the Carbo Pro that I've been drinking with the noon tablets, that seems to be sitting just fine. Uh, I haven't eaten anything solid yet. I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna eat some SpaghettiOs at the turn while I'm walking, so. There you go, that's all I got for now. So yeah, let me get my layout. It's me. Who else did you expect? Uh, that was funny. Uh, where am I? Uh, 50 miles. Just left the 50 mile aid station. Uh, <laughs> I turned on my headlamp about 45 minutes ago and uh, there was nothing. But somewhere along the line, the batteries, I don't know, I just got pumped or something. But they weren't there, so I got Ryan's headlamp. And hopefully he's gonna figure out what's up with mine. Uh, before I'm back, he's running with me after mile 75. So, in a couple hours. Um, I feel pretty good. Uh, my legs feel fine. I haven't been walking that much, actually. Um, the Carbo Pro. I'm going almost to the completely liquid diet, it seems here. Uh, going anything. I ate some SpaghettiOs at mile 37 and a half. Uh, those are okay. Just don't, I just don't like solid food. It just, just doesn't sit well. So, you know, some ultra runners go with a complete liquid diet. Might have to be mean, huh? So, that's what I got for now. Talk to you. How are ya? Uh, mile 60 ish. Getting me real close to the turnaround here. My movie ended, the movie I was listening to. Uh, I mentioned it before, I've been listening to movies all day long. I think I've listened to like five. Uh, I listen to Apocalypse Now. And then Big Lebowski. And then I don't remember. And then I just finished Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, that's kind of cool. So, I'm going to turn around and change your shoes. I'll start another movie. I'll be back. One more, I got one more nasty. Drop back. I'm going to pick up Ryan as a pacer.
Cobra, Carbo Pro, lots of that. I had half a beer back there. That's kind of nice. Uh, uh, so good for now. See ya. Good, how are you? All right, I just gotta take a shot of when somebody running the snow for me. If I can't see me. Uh, sorry, I can't see my head damp on. There. Uh, uh, hi. I'm at mile 73. So, close to the 75 mile turnaround, we're gonna take a Brian. Carb Pro. Yeah. That's helping a lot. Uh, wow. You're also tired. come up are not politically correct. It just happens. It's kind of funny that one. Uh, I'm tired as hell. Uh, I pretty much walked the last 12 and a half miles by walking out here. As you can see, the snow's picked up again. The wind is all of a sudden picked up. It's been changing direction. Um, yeah, it's gonna suck. Suck. But uh, I'm seven days done. So, so got that coming for me. My brain is my brain is okay, I think. Feet are a little sore. That's okay. Um, I'm very tired. Um, not too cold. So I got for now. It's probably the last update before the finish. So, see you later. Hi. Game's over. Finish time was 19:33 and change. Um, that is hands down the toughest course I've ever run in my entire life. Not one step was sure-footed. Not one step. Well, I take that back. Maybe uh, 50 steps when I went under bridges that the snow had blown away. But otherwise, you're running on snow and you have no idea what that step is going to be. You don't know if your foot's going to slip or whatever. Give you an idea how horrible that course was. And I finished in second place to one of the most elite runners on the planet. <coughs> I'll tell you about him on the blog. I finished in second place. The first 12 and a half miles, my pace, 10 minutes. 10 minutes per mile, flat. That was for the first 12 miles that I slowed down. 10 minute miles. You know what? I'm a fast guy. I, really, I can run faster than 10 minute miles, but not through snow. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so, it was, it was harsh. It was, it was brutal. Um, but I finished it, and second place doesn't suck doesn't suck at all. I'm glad I did it. I don't know if I would ever want to do this ever again. There's a summer one that I might do in the future, but I don't think I'm ever going to do this crazy shit ever again. No. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go to sleep, and it's uh, 6.30 in the morning, because the race didn't start until 10. So 6.30 in the morning now, because I'm finally back here. I finished about an hour ago. But I changed clothes there because I didn't want to freeze on the way back to the hotel. So we're going to sleep a couple hours. Then we're going to hit the road and head home. So here endeth the lesson. <sighs> Take care.